Um, and ironically, You Are a Badass um, came up, which is, if you don't know, it's one of our like very well-known personal development books. I haven't read it yet, so it's on my list this year. Um, but it was talking about like these nine things of how to win yourself over again. And so I'll just read it through. Um, one, appreciate how special you are. Two, drown yourself in affirmations. Three, do things you love. Four, find a replacement. Five, ditch the self-deprecating humor. Six, let the love in. Seven, don't compare yourself to others. Eight, forgive yourself. And nine, love yourself. So I think these are really cool. And um, because I think in our business, it's really, it's hard. At least for me, it's something that I struggle with is comparing myself to others. And so, um, I mean, even, even people on our own team where I'm like, man, like, that post is like really good. Like that person has like a lot of likes on that. Um, that filter looks really good on hers. Like, I don't know what I'm doing over here. I just look like a schmojo over there. I don't know. And so, um, I think that's something that has been very eye-opening to myself because once I stop, like, like I can tell like when it's getting to that point where I'm like, I start getting down on myself and I start, you know, focusing more outwardly, um, onto others instead of like, you know, taking care of my own self. Um, I'll just kind of step away and just say, okay, no, like, just remember, like you have to be you. Um, and I think something that we've touched on in the past is like, when you're posting stuff, like not calling it like by its actual name. So not saying like, buy my bag of Shakeology, it's great for you. But saying like, oh my gosh, like you should totally check out these superfoods. Like they're amazing. And so just becoming your own self, becoming your own brand, being true to yourself, that's going to change the whole game for you guys. Because as soon as like you can just be you and everything that you're going to put out on the social media, it's going to draw people in naturally just because they're interested in getting to know who you are. They don't necessarily, maybe like their first thought isn't like, oh, like what's, like, what's that? Like, what are you eating tonight? You know? But I think oh, at the end of the day, like people are like, but like, who are you? Like, what are you about? Like, why are you doing all this stuff? Like, what's, what's the deeper part of it? Um, so I think it's something that we, we draw people in when we are ourselves. Um, and then I found this quote that said, don't be afraid to fail, be afraid not to try. And I was like, oh, shoot, <laughs> that got me good. Um, and so I think that's something that, I don't know if y'all have been following my Instagram at all um, or Facebook even. Um, I've been talking a lot about fear lately um, just because it, it is something, like I said, that I struggle with. Um, and it's easy to, you know, when you start doubting and stuff, you're like, oh, crap, like I haven't gotten there. Like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I can't do this. You know, it's just like, it's a quick downward slope, like real, real fast. Um, but when I found this and um, I was like, Oh, that's like really cool because like we shouldn't be afraid to fail, but like if anything, like we should, we should be afraid if we don't even try, like, because if you don't try, like you'll never know ever. And so I think there's actually, you know, there's, I mean, who cares if you fail, fail forward. We say that all the time. If we're going to fail, which we know we will. There's no point in being afraid of it because we know it's going to happen at one point or another. And so instead of having like this negative attitude or just being like, Oh, woe is me. Just being, you know, having a positive attitude about failure, which I think is a really healthy thing to do. And it's, it's a hard adjustment, I think, because I think our society is like, oh, if you fail, you suck. Like you're the scum of the earth, which is not true. But I think real failure is when you don't try. So I think if you're afraid to, I don't know, like, okay, for me tonight after this call, like I'm posting up like my first transformation photo of like me, never, ever, ever done one before. Am I scared? Hell yes, I am. I'm very scared. But I know that like, if I don't do this, I know that like there will be people that could potentially miss out on such a cool opportunity. And I refuse to let myself be the one who gets in the way of that. And so you kind of have to remove yourself, I guess, emotionally sometimes just being like, nope, like it's fine. I'm just going to do it because you just never know. You have to try. So I think there's a lot of value in trying things um, instead of just not even seeing what could happen. Um, and then um, I want to talk about like your sowing days and your reaping days. Um, so I'm sure, I'm sure several of you have heard like, you know, you'll reap what you sow. Um, and so um, that, I don't know, I just was, I was putting this like into the template today and I was just kept thinking of it and it's a Bible verse. And so I just was thinking like, you know, if you, you reap what you sow, okay, like it's talking about like harvest, like when you sow in the harvest time, or like before harvest happens, like when you're sowing the seeds, like that's really hard work and it's like really challenging and it's a very humbling experience. And there are days I'm sure like if you were to think of yourself as a farmer sowing seeds and, and like plowing the fields, that was not an easy job. That's not an easy job. 
there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and it's hard, and it's, I'm sure there are moments where you just want to give up, and I'm sure there are moments when we all want to give up. I know for myself, I, if I'm being 100% honest, there have been times where I've wanted to throw in the towel. Um, like after, I think uh, Laura was talking about this on our call, I think that was last week, and but she was talking about like how once you become a diamond, sometimes what can happen, or even after you hit like a really even like emeralds or ruby or whatever, like after you hit like a really cool rank that you've been aiming for, it's really easy to kind of back off a little bit. Um, and so when I became diamond, I, no joke, got sick and then took a week off. So it ended up being like January 7th by the time I hopped on board and I'm paying for it now. So because I didn't, you know, I wasn't like sowing, I'm not reaping right now, which is okay. I'm not being like, woe is me. Um, but I'm just being very real and saying like, okay, like I've had to make up for my invites. So there was a day when I sent out 15 invites that day because I missed three days of invites and, um, I do a minimum of five invites a day. So I'm, I wasn't just going to not send them out. I was going to make it up. And so it's been a little bit more challenging this month, but all I'm going to do is keep being consistent because that's the best thing that any of us can do. Um, so when days get hard, just be consistent, keep doing your daily focus, Keep taking care of yourself, doing your shakes, your workouts, doing your personal development. Um, keep checking in with your challengers and just keep saying that you can do it and say it out loud. I know when I'm having doubts, I'll like text Jessica and I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. And she's like, no, you can't say it out loud. And I'm like, okay, I'm saying it out loud right now. So, um, and Joel's really good. Like I'll come up to him and I'm like, I just, I don't, I don't, he's like, no, no, you've got this. You're doing it. You're fine. You can do it. You can do it. And so it's just like constant encouragement so find find someone who can do that for you and um, if you are married just have your spouse be like hey humor me you gotta you gotta say this stuff okay and um, yeah so be consistent reevaluate what you are doing and see what you can do to be better um if that's posting you know with i don't know trying different posts out or um maybe trying to hit a different target audience so just reevaluate everything that you're doing reevaluate the way that you're inviting people like the wording that you're using um, remember your why and your goals and um, i've known that this has been something that's really helped rein me back in um, because although i only wanted to try this initially for a year this is my goal to like this is my job um, and this is my dream that this would be my job my full-time job in like the next like two years um, so then whenever we start having kids, I can be a stay-at-home mom with our children. Because um, that's super important to both Joel and I that I can raise our kids. Um, and so this provides a really awesome opportunity for me to do that. Um, so that's a huge why. So I just always think of like baby children, like our baby Rothax running around. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the kids. <laughs> so it keeps me on my toes for sure, but it helps like bring me back in. Um, another thing when you're on like your sewing day, stop comparing yourself to others. Like I said, put those blinders on and you just focus on you. Find out who you are. Find out what your brand is. Go back to like when we did those emails, like when we first signed on, what were those five things that you wanted to represent on social media? Go back to those things and just like, okay, this is, this is my brand right here. How can I fine tune it? Um, and then if you don't have a success partner, get a success partner. If you don't know what that is, reach out to your upline and we'll definitely explain that to you. Um, but having accountability on days like that is crucial because it will kind of be like that little light at the end of the tunnel. And then on reaping day, so we're like, oh my gosh, the harvest is full. Like, I've got so much good stuff over here. Um, be consistent. Don't stop. Don't let up because I did that and that sucks. And so um, so maintain and be consistent. Keep doing what you're doing and still reevaluate and see what can you do better because there's always room for improvement. No matter how fantastic we're doing, even if we're, I don't know, Melanie or Amy or like any of the other, Bonnie or rain at like any of the top 10 coaches they're always reevaluating what they're doing so if we want to get to that place where like a top 10 coach or even if you don't just still reevaluate what you can do to be a better coach and just brand um when you're in your reaping seasons take notes on what works so that when you are in your seal your sewing days you know okay that was working then maybe if i try that again maybe it'll work again so it just kind of helps you and it might motivate you to kind of get out of that slump if you are in one. Um, also stay humble. I think it's easy to, at least for me, I'm not gonna speak for everybody, but when things are going like really, really great, I'm like, heck yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna coach over here, down, coach, what's up? And I'm like, oh, 
Okay, and then I get knocked off, you know, my little pedestal real quick. Um, but yeah, so just having a humble attitude, so staying low in your heart and in your mind and just like, and it's kind of like, it's the same thing as comparing yourself. Like you're not any better than anybody. Like you're putting in hard work and it's showing and that's amazing. So, um, but yeah, just watch your attitude in that. Um, and then also keeping your, applying and your success partner updated on what you're doing, where you're at. And I found that that's been super, super helpful and beneficial. And um, like I texted Jessica this week and I was like, here's where I'm at. What, what can I do? And she was like, okay, you can do this. And I was like, I'm doing it. Got it. Perfect. Okay. So I think that's just a part of like the accountability as well that we are blessed to have. And, um, but yeah, I think that's all that I have for you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Let me just double check. Yeah, that's it. There it is, guys. Gabe, that was so good. Thanks. Does anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns? Just unmute yourself. Jackie? Thank yeah, you. go, Jackie. There it goes. Okay. Um, I just made an entire list of people because Gabe just like totally inspired me to go and like send stuff out tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. So thank you. You're awesome. Good. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. There were so many awesome nuggets and I will tell you that j so kindly texted me to let me know that halfway through it was not recording. And I want to cry a little bit, but the last half is recorded. I swear I pressed it. Remember I said, okay, you guys, I'm recording. And I clicked it. Apparently it didn't click it. So okay. it so much good information. And I, I just, so please, if your teams are on the call, make sure you tell them to watch the part that is recorded. But so many, like the, in the beginning of the call, stuff that wasn't recorded was things like, and I think this is something that we all have, is people are afraid of their own success. Like when she said that, I was like, hello, exhibit A, because you're so, because when you are, when you're told by a boss, we're used to working for somebody else. And so we're working for their approval. But when you are working for your own approval, it's very hard because it's, you're putting yourself out there. What if you fail? Maybe I just shouldn't do it. It's just, it's a whole different ball game. And so a lot of times that paralyzes you. And I thought that was awesome. That was so good. And the other big thing from that was, look at where you want to be at the end of the year. And if what you're doing on a daily, weekly basis, if those numbers don't add up, you've got to change something or you're going to be so sorely disappointed. Just like when she was talking about reaping and sowing, I thought it was an amazing analogy. Like if you are a month ago, weren't doing anything right now is probably not so fun for you. If you were killing it in December, you're probably really excited about what's happening, but use that to fuel you and make sure, okay, if I want to be here at the end of the year and wherever that is, doesn't matter. Maybe you want to be Emerald. Maybe you want to be 25 star. It doesn't matter. Wherever that is, do your goals and what you're doing on a daily basis match that. That was so good. And it's so, so true, but I know we're over time, so I'm not going to rattle off such a good call. Anybody else have questions or comments, concerns? I wanted to say something. If yes, hello. Okay, hello. Oh. Um, one thing that you said that I really hit home for me was um, how easy it is to compare yourself to everyone. I know when I first started, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be like them. They're so amazing. Um, but as you guys know, because I've talked about it, share and Gabe, you totally nailed this sharing yourself, finding your brand, because I appeal to people that are different um, than like Jessica appeals to people, than Rachel does and Raquel, like we all have different um, strengths that we bring to the table, different personalities, and there are people out there that are looking for your exact brand, so be that. Um, and also one thing, and we were talking about this yesterday, Jackie and Rachel and I were, um, if you see a post that uh, you love and you're like, man, I wish I would have thought of that. Steal it. <laughs> I love that about our team. Nobody is afraid. You know, like I, um, I, I messaged Genevieve like a week ago and I was like, your business invite was so good. Can I steal it? And she was like, of course, yes, you can. And everybody will say that to you. Nobody is going to be like, no man, find your own. <laughs> That's the great thing about this team. Is everybody wants everybody to succeed. So um, don't be afraid to steal. <laughs> yes, that's it's so true. Like 
And there's so many of us, like, I mean, it's amazing. We have 50 of us just right here. And that's like a pinch of our team. So you just save those posts, bank them for later. Cause sometimes you just need inspiration and you're like, ah, yes, I remember so-and-so posted this, or I like the way they did that, whatever. So use it. That's such a good point. Anybody else? Everybody feeling fabulous. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, I will post the partial recording because I suck at life, but that's no, neither here nor there. And I am so excited to see everybody tomorrow on the World Wide web. Have an amazing night and make sure to go comment on Gabe's transformation post that she's about to put out into the universe. Gabe, bye. Yeah. <laughs>